Today we're diving into the fascinating world of methylene blue, a synthetic dye that's been around for over a century. You might recognize it from chemistry class or maybe even your fish tank, but did you know it might have a role in cancer treatment? We're going to break down the science behind this little blue molecule and explore its potential in the fight against cancer. Make sure you stick around until the end because we're going to cover its uses in diagnosis and even some of the exciting new avenues of research. Let's explore. So what exactly is methylene blue? I'm glad you asked. It's a blue dye that acts as a redox agent. This means it can donate and accept electrons. It's antimicrobial and has antioxidant effects. It even targets mitochondria, the cell's powerhouses. Pretty cool for a simple dye, right? Methylene blue is promising in photodynamic therapy, or PDT. A special light activates a chemical to kill cancer cells. Methylene blue is the activated assassin. It produces reactive oxygen species, or ROS. ROS targets and destroys cancer cells. This method is studied for skin, bladder and other cancers. Remember how I mentioned that methylene blue targets mitochondria? Well, this is where things get really interesting. Cancer cells often have altered mitochondrial function, which is like their Achilles heel. They rely on these modified mitochondria to survive and grow uncontrollably. Now, methylene blue can accumulate in the mitochondria of cells and wreak havoc. By interfering with mitochondrial metabolism, methylene blue may selectively inhibit cancer cell growth. It's like cutting off the power supply to a factory, bringing those cancer cells to a grinding halt. Methylene blue is fascinating. It's like a superhero with a dual identity antioxidant and pro-oxidant. At low concentrations, it protects cells from oxidative stress. At higher concentrations, it generates reactive oxygen species. These ROS can damage cancer cells. This dual role makes it a candidate for cancer therapy. Methylene blue is showing promise not just as a standalone treatment, but also as a powerful sidekick to existing cancer therapies like chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Studies have shown that methylene blue can sensitize cancer cells to these treatments, making them more effective at lower doses. Imagine it like this, methylene blue weakens the cancer cells, making them more susceptible to the chemotherapy or radiation, kind of like softening them up before the main attack. But here's the really cool part. It may also help protect normal cells from the side effects of these therapies, acting as a cytoprotective agent. Beyond its potential in treatment, methylene blue also has a role to play in cancer diagnostics. Ever heard of a sentinel lymph node biopsy? It's a procedure used to determine if cancer has spread beyond a tumor to the lymph nodes. Methylene blue is used as a staining agent to identify these sentinel lymph nodes during surgery helping surgeons accurately stage the cancer and guide treatment decisions. And that's not all. It can also help visualize tumors during endoscopic procedures, making it easier for doctors to see and assess them. While methylene blue shows promise, its use in cancer treatment is still largely experimental. More research is needed to establish its safety and efficacy. We need to figure out the right doses, the best ways to administer it, and how it interacts with other treatments. That being said, the research so far is really encouraging. Methylene blue has the potential to change the way we think about cancer treatment. If you're considering methylene blue for cancer treatment, consult with a healthcare professional. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more.